I'm Michael Richmond, principal architect at NEO. NEO is a electric vehicle company. Um, and like all electric vehicle companies, we are working towards autonomous driving. I'm responsible for building our uh, autonomous analytics platform from infrastructure through to the application build out that supports that development effort. I'm Rob Langley. I'm the, one of the uh, staff resident network architect uh, engineers for the data center and for the design and implementations of the, uh, the network fabric that supports the autonomous initiatives that we're gearing towards in our technology and our environment at NEO. My team was formed to build out the data center infrastructure that we are using as the R&D uh, development bed for our autonomous functionality. Uh, from day one, uh, we decided that all of that technology would be built being container-native implementation because we were starting about two years ago, and so we saw no reason to invent uh, software legacy by building up VM-based technology. Uh, so f as soon as we had made the strategic choice for container orchestration, uh, we then started looking around for a SDN that would support us and integrate with the container runtimes that we were aiming for. You know, having this conversation and finding out that there's these other options that allow us to automate um, provision and scale um, quite rapidly and deploy right, quite rapidly in a small environment that can easily grow and scale up. So as we had these discussions and how we were going to, you know, be mad scientists and build this environment, you know, what was the best, al you know, alternatives and options to the traditional platforms, leveraging, you know, an SDN technology to uplift us and get us up and running. You know, as a startup company, that's quintessential. Time and money are precious, and you have very short, small windows to build POC labs do testing and vetting out a proper you know, solution that you hope will scale and fit your business needs and allow you to be successful at the same time. With the container space needs, it's allowed us to um, focus um, network provisioning at a much more automated, more efficient level. We can easily architect and design things that are scalable and quick to stand up. That's been one of the big benefits that we've had is that um, again, traditionally a network can take you weeks, months even, of many people engaged trying to develop a product or a platform, you know, environment for a network and then turn it over to your applications and developers to use. Whereas I think it took us maybe a handful of days to have everything, you know, designed, stood up, vetted and operational. So it was a very quick win for us in that sense. I immediately saw the benefits in using uh, Merchant Silicon or White Box Solutions in a networking space to where all of a sudden I had a lot of flexibility and a lot of um, excellent control and tools at my disposal that I never really properly had without going to multi-vendor, multi-vendor selection and being able to stitch it all together in you know, that one holistic view really solved a lot of headaches. The current build out is uh, most readily thought of as a um, converged, um, very dense enterprise data center um, where we are launching um, heavy compute, heavy I.O. workloads that need to churn through tens of petabytes of data every week as we run our regression tests. All of the data we're collecting from our R&D vehicles are being collected in vehicle and then transferred to our data center um, in large volume. We were initially aiming for somewhere on the order of two terabytes of data per hour from each vehicle. We're now aiming for about 16 terabytes of data per hour per vehicle and it, it allowed us to really build an, a, uh, an environment that's, I think, quite unique and, yeah. you know, kind of first in class.